Hello all. So welcome back to awesome React Native tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to use one of the alert libraries. Uh, this is the library I have used, and I thought it would be worth sharing with you guys. So this is the library I'm talking about. So in this library, uh, what you will do is like you will implement this component React Native dropdown alert by installing it with the npm package, and it gives a beautiful layover over your status bar and give a, a quick information about your info warning errors or success messages so let's start with implementing this one so to install it you have to just copy paste this line npmi react native drop down alert and save to in, uh, save this library in your package json so uh, to install it this is my terminal here like simply you have to put npm install this drop down alert hyphen hyphen save so as i have already installed it uh, i'll install it again so it will take some time to install this package meanwhile we can go and check out what this library has to offer so as you can see this demo in this library it gives four fives kind of uh, alert for info warning error success and any custom message you want to build so basically what you can provide is a title or uh, description of your error message and I, th I think you can also put a image so we'll quickly implement this one and uh, see how it looks so I'll just go so the package is installed here so I'll follow the instructions as given for its usage so first we'll import this drop down alert here in the top now so this is the main alert so just to make sure like you should ha you have to import it at the bottom of your the top level of your view because it will be coming from your top drawer like from where you you can see your times and battery percentage so this is where you have to implement it moreover we can go to its example section where we can see what example they have provided so i'll just quickly use this one because this has implementation of more functions and more properties here so i'll not be using this container style because it's using some custom styles you can implement it later render image this one i don't need on close and on cancel function so i'll just use this also i'll put these functions here so this is the function item action so this function will be responsible for invoking your calls i so basically to provide uh, information to the drop down i have to pass an item component which has a type title and a message so to also use it i have to pass touchable opacity i guess to invoke this one basically so I just put it here inside the, so I'll enwrap this touchable opacity and pass uh, one press function and this will call item action and I'll pass item action uh, type as info title as awesome drop down alert and message would be you can also try it and I'll unwrap this 
so I have to close this one and here I'll close this one okay so all my functions are set uh, so let's reload this one now okay it's showing some error Uh, line number 27 okay okay this looks okay but mm, this looks okay but this is throwing error okay line number 28 again touchable opacity is here okay let's remove this for a moment okay so how about we'll call this item action in our component it won't so item action we'll call we'll just pass okay i'll pass type as okay so i'll just i'm just passing all the things quickly and remaining is the title okay can't find the variable item action because this is not mounted or i'll call this way silly okay a lot with type in item action info on alert or custom available types info okay so as you can see this drop down is not showing because like earlier we have to pass it in this item action and it is not calling i am not very sure let's try it with this also item action and i'll just copy this part so i'll if i'll click it again here so if let's say i'll just pass success so this will show a blue and if i'll click on it it shows a success so you can implement this library and you can have a beautiful drop down alert in your react native application so stay tuned to our channel uh, we'll be giving more tutorials on building react native applications